Anytime you're moving money, account takeovers can be a risk. How can you be sure that the user who just linked a bank account to your app is the owner of that account? This is where Plaid Identity can help. Identity can access a financial institution's information on file about the owner of a linked account, including their name, address, email, and phone number. You can then match this data against verified information you have about your user from other sources, such as Plaid's identity verification product, helping you to fight account takeover fraud. Identity is frequently used as a complement to money movement products, like Auth or Transfer, to help you reduce return risk by verifying account ownership. For example, accounts whose phone number mismatches the user's verified phone number are up to 10 times as likely to experience unauthorized returns. To get started with Identity, create an item as usual, starting with a link token create call. If you're using Identity by itself, put it in the products array. If you're using Identity with another product like Auth or Transfer, put that product in the products array, and then put Identity in the required if supported products array. This ensures that users whose banks don't provide identity data can still link their accounts, while requiring them to share identity data if the institution does support it. Then, you have a few options for verifying identity. The recommended way is to call Identity Match. You'll send Plaid the access token and the information you already have about the user, and you'll get back a match score for each field indicating how closely the data retrieved by Plaid match the data you supplied. Typically, a score of 70 or higher means a likely match, while a score below 70 indicates no match. This score is calculated using a fuzzy matching algorithm, which is a way of comparing two strings for similarity while allowing for slight differences. Identity Match also incorporates real-world information about identity data, allowing it to handle scenarios like nicknames, abbreviations, and joint accounts. Many customers who replace their own matching algorithms with Identity Match have improved onboarding conversion by 20% or more. If you use Plaid Identity Verification, integration with Identity Match is even easier. Identity Verification verifies that a user is who they say they are, using methods like SMS verification and public records. Identity matches a user's information against the ownership details on a linked bank account. To use these two products together, first, in the Identity Verification template, enable financial account matching. Send your user through the Identity Verification flow first, then create a new link session for Identity making sure to use the same client user ID across both link sessions. There's no need to include any user data in the identity match call, since we can use the stored identity verification data we already have. The match results will also appear in the dashboard for easy access. Alternatively, if you do need the identity data itself, you can call identity get, passing in just your access token. This will return the identity information Plaid has about the accounts on the item. Finally, you can let your user upload a bank statement then have Plaid scan that document for identity data while also analyzing it for signs of tampering or fraud. This is especially useful if you're using auth flows that don't allow getting identity data directly from the bank, like same-day microdeposits or database insights. This has been Identity in 3 Minutes. If you want to find out more about identity, check out our documentation and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can find out about new tutorials as soon as they're available. Happy plotting!